A gym in Spartanburg has been around for nearly 50 years, and the, the gym owner says that he was given just roughly three months to relocate. He, along with members of the community, are now fighting back against that request. Our Taniqua Penix joins us live in Spartanburg with the latest on this story. Taniqua. Well, good evening, Rashad. I'm here at Nautilus Fitness Center, and they say they're the oldest independently owned fitness center in the state, and they don't want to relocate. The center has been in business since 1977. The owner, John Lankford, says in 1988, at the request of the city, he moved his business to downtown Spartanburg on South Church Street. Spartanburg was a ghost town. They asked me to come here because there was nothing downtown. Had a ribbon cutting, a big celebration out front. We're happy I was here. Now, as the city is growing, Lankford says the city wants him to leave. It almost seems like they're wanting business to come here but someone who has been here for all these years, they want to just toss us aside. They're almost paying people, I won't say that, maybe big business they are to come to Spartanburg, but someone who's been in Spartanburg for 47 years serving the community, they don't want to pay us enough to leave. Two years ago, Lankford says he was informed by the city that they wanted his property to build city hall and county administration offices. Then about two weeks ago, he says he got a letter from city officials saying he needed to move his business by the end of October this year, but was not offered any relocation funds. We just feel that we uh, are not being treated fairly. I love Spartanburg. It's just that the members here, we're like family. We're not like a big box gym. People that come here know everyone. It's a family. My wife works here. My younger son, uh, Andrew, works here. So we are a family business. Lankford said he's hired an attorney and he's received a lot of support from the community, but he's still shocked after all these years, city officials would treat him this way. Really, if they can do this to a business that's been here for 47 years, serving this community, they can do it. What business is next? And Taniqua, of course, we are all about balance. We heard the gym owner's side of the story. Can you tell us what the city is saying in response? Yes, Rashad. So Lankford tells me he was at a city council meeting last night and the city council was set on that October 31st deadline. So I reached out to the city today to hear what they have to say. And at this point in time, I still have not heard from anyone. Reporting live in Spartanburg, Taniqua Penix, WIFF News 4.